Hi, I'm Dr. Slava Goffnung, endocrinologist at UCLA Health. Today I'd like to talk about thyroid function tests. It's very normal for doctors to order blood tests to check thyroid health. Sometimes the results can be confusing, even for physicians. Let's break down how to understand thyroid tests. The most basic test is thyroid stimulating hormone, we call it TSH for short. A small gland that sits under the brain, called the pituitary gland, makes TSH. TSH tells the thyroid to make thyroid hormone. When your body does not have enough thyroid hormone, your pituitary will make more TSH to tell your thyroid to make more thyroid hormone. So TSH is high when your thyroid hormone levels are low. So when we see a TSH value that is too high, it alerts us that the patient may have hypothyroidism, meaning that the patient is making too little thyroid hormone or is not taking enough thyroid hormone. When we see that a TSH value is too low, it means the patient may have hyperthyroidism. This can happen when the thyroid is overactive and making too much thyroid hormone, or if the patient is taking too much thyroid hormone. If the TSH value is normal, it tells us the patient likely has normal thyroid function. Most of the time, no further testing is necessary. When the TSH is abnormal, or if the patients have thyroid symptoms and a normal TSH, we can also test the levels of thyroid hormones themselves. The thyroid makes two different forms of thyroid hormone called T4 and T3. The thyroid mostly makes T4, which different parts of the body can turn into T3, the more active form. Once these hormones are in the blood, the body stores them for later by attaching them to proteins. When stuck to proteins, the hormones can't go into cells and are not active. We can measure the free T4 or free T3 levels, which are the hormones not stuck to proteins and are also active. We can also measure total T4 or total T3, which includes both active and inactive hormones. Since the relationships between TSH, T3, and T4 are complex, we recommend consultation with an endocrinologist. We also recommend you talk to your healthcare provider when reviewing your thyroid tests. For more information or to submit an appointment request, please give us a call or visit our website. Thank you for watching.